Hey guys, it's Chelsea from Bookie Book Book. Today we are going to be doing my April to be read pile. This is in fact a third time I have tried to f film this video, so uh, hopefully third time's a charm. Um, yep, so I've got seven books that I'm going to try and read this month. Um, I, d I tried to read my to be read pile last month was six and I did that quite easily, so... Um, so yeah, so we're going to try seven books this month. Um, four of the books I'm going to be reading are sequels because sequels are sort of piling up on me. I keep trying, I keep reading like um, first books in series and then you know, I just get a mountain of sequels to read. And then I've got three books that are like the first in series. So what I'm reading at the moment is the first in the Maximum Ride series. The Angel Experiment. I I started this yesterday and I'm that far in. I'm on page 200. Um, really enjoying it. It's real action packed. I like I like the fact that um, the chapters are only a couple of pages long. I quite like that. I just because I think I always like when I'm reading to like stop at like the end of a chapter and because the chapters are so short you're never far away from a chapter ending um so yeah so there's that that's what i'm reading then i'll do all the first in series first then i'm this because as you know if you read my um march no if you watched not read if you watched my march wrap up i read the hunger games trilogy and I thought it was fantastic, but it sort of left a uh, a hole in my heart. A hole I feel that needs filling with more dystopian loveliness. And so I'm going to be reading a book which everyone else has read, bar me, you know, a bit like The Hunger Games. I'm going to be reading Divergent by Veronica Roth. Um, the second book comes out not, not that far. I cannot remember what it's called damn it i do know but it escaped me so yeah this this is probably what i'm gonna read next it's quite a big book it's like i think it's just off 500 pages yeah maximum ride's quite a big book it's not it's like over 400 pages i think like ya books tend to be about 350 pages if you go over that and you get to 400 i sort of go oh that's a big book i mean it's not really but it is for YA, over 350 pages. So next book, one that is, in fact, what I'd like to think of as a YA-sized book, is Carrier of the Mark by Lee Fallon. Um, I love this, well, I love the cover of this book. Quite looking forward to this, I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about this. So, and I quite like going into a book with like mixed reviews, because then I think, you know, it's more your own opinion rather than everyone's all like everyone's saying it's fantastic and then you think oh god do i want to read it well it's not as good as what i feel, think it's going to be so i like i like getting to a book with mixed reviews <laughs> um anyway i love the cover as i said i think in one of my hauls it looks to me like her feet are dripping away into a blue puddle which is a bit bizarre but i like it so yeah there's that and now we're on to sequels sequely loveliness um, first one, one I'm really, really excited for is The Iron Daughter by Judy Kagawa. I loved The Iron King, I thought it was fantastic. I'm majorly Team Ash, but you know, Puck, Puck, I, w I wouldn't mind if she ended up with Puck because Puck has a small bit, a small space in my heart, but at the moment I'm like Team Ash, so I'm like, go the bad guy because. Oh, I'm a sucker for a bad boy. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to that. And then um, an adult book is The Lover Awaken, the third book in the Black Dagger Brotherhood by J.R. Ward. Really looking forward to this. I love these books. Um, I'm really into them at the moment. Great adult um, paranormal fantasy. Really, really addictive. Like, bloody addictive. But yeah, really looking forward to that. And then, la 
Borderlands 2, two more sequels. Um, Masquerade, a second Blue Blood, Blue Blood book. Why do they make that so hard to say? Blue Blood. It's just, it's difficult. Um, so yeah, Masquerade, the second book by Melissa De La Cruz. Um, you know, like the Blue Blood series gets a lot of mixed reviews, but I quite like the first one. I don't think, I think they're quite like light. They're not, you know, heavy books. They're not action packed. They're sort of, you know, I'll say something that someone says, like people say quite often. It is sort of Gossip Girl with vampires. But I quite like them. I find them quite light, nice reads. You know, a break from all the action-packed other stuff that I'm reading. Something a bit more lighter. And then finally, I've got Trial by Fire by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. The second book in the Raised by Wolves series. Um, um, yeah, I'm really... Really looking forward to this. It's quite a lot shorter than the first book. Which I think is quite strange, because normally second books tend to be longer than the first books, but, you know, oh well. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to this. I really enjoyed Raised by Wolves, actually, because I, I don't read too many werewolf books. Not, not that often, so I just find I don't enjoy them that much. But this series, well, like the first book I really liked, so I've got high hopes for this one. So yeah, um, that was my April to be read pile. Um, lots of books I'm really looking forward to. I might I might get through more than that pile, but um, hopefully I should because I've got two weeks off, so lots of time to do some reading. Um, yeah, so next video will either be a review of the first Maximum Ride book, depending on when I finish it, or a book haul, um, which will actually be my March collective book haul for the month, um, which is going to be a bit weird because it's going to be a March book haul in April, but um, because I'm waiting on a delivery of books that I ordered quite a while ago but they're taking forever to get here for some reason um so yeah so that will be exciting I know how much people love book hauls I love book hauls um yeah it's not a massive book haul because I've um set myself a limit on how much money I can spend on books because um they're starting to hurt my bank account a bit all the book buying it's it's become a bit of an obsession, so I thought if I set myself a limit, and it's not like going cold turkey saying no, you can't buy any new books, because then I just think, oh, they're all gonna pile up, and then when I break, when I'm like, oh, wanna, I'm gonna buy some new books, I'm gonna end up buying like a million. So you know, I set myself a limit. I'm not going cold turkey on the book buying, but yeah. So I hope to do one haul every month, and my March book haul should be in the next week or so. So here we are. So, this has been Bookie Book Book. This has been my book haul. No, no, it hasn't. It hasn't. This has been my April to be read pile. Um, hopefully, this video will upload with no trouble. And, um, toodle pip for now. Cheerio.